I just got off the train. I was riding the train here, and this uh, this homeless guy got on the train to start giving his homeless speech. You know the homeless speech. <laughs> it's the same one every time. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I don't mean to bother you. But if anybody could please spare a little bit of... And this fat black woman stood up and said, Fuck that! <laughs> if any of us had any money, we wouldn't be riding the goddamn train. <laughs> and we just all gave her five dollars. <laughs> she just crowd surfed to Manhattan. That's a goddamn G right there. Give her the purple heart. <laughs> anyway, what are we gonna do about Kanye, yo? This guy... It is looking bad. <laughs> it is hard to be a Kanye fan right now. Holy shit. Gotta roll the windows up when I listen to this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, it's like hard. Like, it's like I've been a Kanye fan since my youth. It's just like all his lyrics hit so differently now. He's got a song called Can't Tell Me Nothing. In it, he goes, the drama, people suing me. What I do? Act more stupidly. I'm like, yeah, bro, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Fumble in the bag, homie. I don't know what he's gonna say. Every day he comes up with something new. It's like he's got a big wheel of anti-Semitism at home. <laughs> he just takes a spin every night before he goes to bed. Just like, like what am I gonna say tomorrow? <laughs> I like Hitler. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. It's a pretty good one right there. Where am I gonna say that at? <laughs> Alex Jones, perfect. <laughs> you know it's bad when Alex Jones thinks you crazy. <laughs> right? He, Kanye was on there. Alex Jones was like, hey. You don't mean like you like, like, like Hitler. He's like, no, I love Hitler. He's <laughs> like, yo, dude, what the fuck is you doing? Kanye West has said so much bad shit, you can almost listen to R. Kelly again. <laughs> he is one tweet away from R. Kelly being back on our sex playlist. <laughs> My mind's telling me no. Yo, did you see R. Kelly released an album from prison? <laughs> I'm not even making it up. He released an album from prison called I Admit It. <laughs> it's like OJ releasing his chef knives called Cut a Bitch. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> Kanye, dude. Kanye, you know, a lot of people are upset with Kanye. They're saying, like, if you're really against Kanye and everything that he said and all his anti-Semitic remarks, then you got to show your solidarity with the Jewish community by getting rid of your Yeezys. They, like, throw those sneakers away. And I'm like, bro, these shoes cost $350, dog. I'm not about to throw these away. Like, like, I finally get why it takes so long to knock down Confederate statues now. Because black people, we'd be like, hey, you got to take down that general. They'd be like, nigga, it cost $500,000 to put that statue up. <laughs> Give a fuck what he did to your great-great-granddaddy. You better <laughs> drive by the Capitol with your eyes closed. That shit is stamped. <laughs> Here, how many black squares you put up? <laughs> bad. That was really bad. <laughs> What else he's gonna do, bro? I think at this rate, we're gonna see Kanye fight Jake Paul by Christmas. <laughs> this is gonna happen. Jake Paul will fight anybody black. It do not matter. He be knocking brothers out. I don't know what it is. Just every six or seven months, we gotta sacrifice a nigga to Jake Paul. <laughs> he be fighting people that have nothing to do with boxing. It be like basketball players and lawyers. Like, why is he fighting Jake from State Farm? What the fuck he do? Just. Let's see how good that insurance is. Square up, Jake. Shit is bad. Jake, fall, Jake Paul will fight anybody black. He don't care. It's, that's his motto. If it's black, he will attack. He don't fight Brittany Griner when she get back over here. <laughs> oh, poor Brittany. Finally free. And spend nine months in Russia having to reenact Space Jam every day. <laughs> Prison guard kicking her there. Do it again, Brittany. Everybody get up. It's not a slam down. We got a real jam going. <laughs> got her in a trade of the century, bro. Woke up to the news. ESPN broke the news. We're getting Brittany Griner back. They're like, how? Well, we made a trade. The U.S. gets Brittany Griner and Russia gets weapons arms dealer Victor Bout with a K. That's a scary motherfucker, yo. Victor, I had to Google him. I know he's good at his job because all his pictures are in orange jumpsuits. 
right? Don't matter where these in prison or Whole Foods, orange jumpsuit. Shit is crazy, yo. She's finally coming back. I don't know. Just hate that it took this long to get her back. That's how you know we don't give a fuck about the WNBA. Right? That was LeBron James. We would have had that nigga back by halftime. <laughs> LeBron James checks into the game, well rested from Russia. Ready to put up 52 points and 37 rebounds. So we gotta get some trans women in the WNBA. We do get some trans women in there, make it exciting. We'll watch. All right? Viewership will skyrocket. Get courtside seats for twelve dollars. <laughs> it's just two Starbucks cups. Your feet could be right there on the court. All right? I want to see some trans women in the WA. I'm tired of the NBA highlights. I know what to expect of those. They're boring to me at this point. I want to see a woman jump from the free throw line and put her balls on some bitch's forehead. That's <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> y'all afraid to laugh at this too close to Christmas? What you think you're gonna think you're gonna end up on the naughty list? <laughs> I am Brittany Griner. We need. I'm just mad that this what this is what it took. We needed the same energy for Black Brittany that we have for White Brittany. Right? Yeah. That's right. White Brittany was a national movement. Right, we had hashtags and Hulu documentaries. Right, all that shit. It was during the height of lockdown, peak COVID, couldn't go nowhere. We tried to free a white woman from her mansion in Calabasas. We did that. <laughs> it was free Britney. It's like, where's she gonna go? Her gazebo? What are we doing? I didn't even want her to get free. I'll admit that. I've been a Britney Spears fan since I was nine years old, bro. I didn't want her to get free because like when she was locked up, all my childhood dreams were coming true. She was posting her pussy on Instagram every Wednesday. <laughs> you were like, free Britney. I was like, Ew. let's just play this out, see where it goes. We're one more breakdown away from an OnlyFans account. Come on, just hit me, baby, one more time. I am stronger than yesterday. You got <laughs> I dated a woman, I dated a white woman during pandemic because I needed a place to live. And um <laughs> lured me in with some eucalyptus leaves. Man, I wasn't even trying to live with her like that, but you know, white women love a rescue, so. 